I appreciate you for playing out of a dead eye. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, Alnick, that's you? Oh, okay. Weren't you wanting to, like, message me for guarding, like, a gift of mastery or something? Yeah, hello, Shrek GG. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Alright, so we are, we are exactly where we left our character yesterday. And as you can see, 39% of the wall complete. So, I said that we we're going to do Shiver Peak Mountains today. So, uh, I'm going to start off with that. Oh gosh, I need to do... I need to win one of Mux's legendary giveaways so I can buy Bifrost. <laughs> What's your least favorite class in Guild Wars 2? Um... Probably Necro. Probably Necro. Yeah, I'm going to say Necro. It'd be between Necro or Engineer. And what's your favorite class? Revenant. <laughs> Revenant. Alright. May the speedrun commence. So, we have to do roughly each map in about half an hour, excluding Lorna's Pass. L L Lorna's Pass is going to take quite some time because Lorna's Pass is 43 point points of interest. Okay, so first thing we'll be doing here. Pick up a torch. There are lots of torches around this area. And literally go over every single dragon tribe painting and just spam F. Everything. Like, just pick up a torch and make sure you can just spam off on everything. It'll fill up the heart progress on the top right corner very, very quickly here. Um, If there are mobs nearby, you are welcome to just, like, AoE. Kill them if you can. But just walk over, walk over everything, spam F. Make sure you have a torch in your hand and you're pretty much set. So we got that heart done. Go back to this waypoint here. Hello, Stefan. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, no. Instabil instabilities today are actually pretty good. CMs T uh, for CMs and both T4s. CMs and T4s actually are both pretty good today. Nothing fancy at this hop, by the way. Like, it's literally just kind of kill stuff. Nothing special. There's no, like, secret pack of anything. Also, I guess, like, the nice thing about this particular guy... Oh, no! I got melt bugged! Are you kidding me? Oh, my god. I need to break combat. That's so inconvenient. I need to relog real quick. No, oh, if you if you dismount, sometimes if you dismount really really quick, um, you, you it freaking like takes away like all your skills, and you pretty much just get stuck in like mount skills when you're not even on a mount. It's really inconvenient. That's actually that has that doesn't happen to me very often either.
Gonna get these guys to come stack on me, just like leaving me easier. Alright, cool. I prefer the melee style of Necro as Reaper, I prefer the Gyros from Scrapper. I don't like playing a single player being a soul beast. <laughs> I understand, I get I get you, Drago, I get you. Okay, um, for this particular heart, if the event is up, which we'll, we'll check very soon, try to kill the, uh, big minion that's actually at the spot. Um, otherwise, pretty much start from this end, the, uh, west side of the, uh, cave entrance. Kill these adds, pick up the summoning stones. Don't worry about doing anything else. This is the best thing you can do for this heart. Okay, unfortunately the event is not actually up here. If there are not enough mobs for you to pretty much kill the heart and just doing going through the cave once, then with the any of the uh, any of the stones that you've picked up, pretty much just go hand in. So unfortunately, it looks like someone's been here recently and killed out some of the adds. So we will just turn in the remainder of the tombstones that we have here. So there's three different st there's three different colors you can turn in, and we should instantly complete the heart here. Alright, okay, cool. So that's out of the way now. So again, the point of the, the point of this uh, today's part, we'll pretty much be able to do all of the Shiver Peaks region. We'll be doing every single. I'll try to do all of them on stream. Otherwise, I'll just take a break if I feel like um, we're going for way too long. But we're gonna try and aim to do each of the maps in sub sub 30 minutes. Less than 30 minutes on each map is how long we want to spend here. If we spend longer than that, it's not gonna be super. super it's not gonna be super great. Yeah, no longer than half an hour. Wait, and I uh, Simsels, a lot of dishes, and I went to pull out my dishwasher drawer to throw some dishes in. Friggin' thing, the entire internal mechanics of the machine fell. Wait, what? Forward out towards my feet and almost landed on my feet. Yikes! Why was it faulty or falling apart like that? Oh! I kind of overlaunched myself. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, um, we're about to get to the heart, which is gonna be a little bit painful to do. Okay, actually, no, th okay, this heart's actually sometimes a bit painful. Okay, so this heart takes a while if you try to kill things. Don't do what this guy in front of us is doing by actually killing stuff. What you wanna do to complete this heart is go around and look for all the coda supplies. Ignore everything else for this heart. Don't worry about killing ads. Don't worry about like anything else. Just focus on picking up the coda supplies. Pick up enough coda supplies and go turn it into the heart that is southeast on my mini map, as you can see. You don't need to worry about anything else major here. So we have almost enough. You want to get enough coda supplies to the point where you're about halfway. So I think if we get if we get one more, I should be able to just turn it on. Basically, do 50% of this heart picking up picking up the coda supplies, and then with the remainder 50%, so we're just over 50% now. Uh, you should be able to just go turn it into the NPC, and it will complete. Should complete. Nope, okay, I was one off. Um, we can just kill these ads here. This is fine. But you can see, like, how little progress killing an ad actually gives. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, so yesterday I was telling you guys, um, that I'm not sure if Noel will let me share the routes with you guys. I spoke to Noel today regarding can I share the, um, the routes and everything. He said yes, like, um, I'm more than welcome to. So that is the link to the actual Google Docs for anyone curious, um, regarding using the augmented terror routes that you see me currently using right now. It is open. You guys are free to use it. Feel free to learn whatever you can from it. Um, yeah. So I have his permission for that. It's all G to share with you guys. What are those markers? These markers are augmented terrier markers for some of the fastest ways to do central terrier world can play. Me being your host. Check above. Uh, one sec. I need to check on my phone because I'm not actually ch checking in my desktop right now. Uh, I don't know if it can be fixed and I don't have money for a new one. Uh, yeah, it's split in half like the shell of the machine is in the cabinet for the front panel and all the mechanisms separated. Yikes. How much do you think it would cost you to get the whole thing fixed? I'm convinced that this is the worst heart in the game. This is, this is actually temporary um, enthusiasm. Okay, so this is probably, in my opinion, this is one, if not the worst heart in this game because you don't, you, you kill thing. you need, to, in everything you need to do in this heart, you need to be inside the dredge mining suit. The dredge mining suit, you hit like a freaking noodle for most of the time. Like it's, this heart is actually something I recommend that you take a buddy with. Like this guy here, like, take a buddy with you when you do this heart, have one of you inside a suit, have the other one, like, I guess just doing other stuff. But this is a really, really painful heart to do by yourself. Really, really painful heart to do by yourself. Like, definitely one of the worst, if not the worst, in my opinion. There is no, and there is no trick method for this. I, I, I've, tried, I I've studied it, I've <laughs> literally studied it, like, tried to find any kind of, like, any kind of, like, cheat trick or anything there, there is nothing for this there is nothing for this art you need to do this the old school way there is one recommendation i have for it and this try to utilize the task storages here so go all the way out to these points and try to do these there are there are multiple ways to do this heart but this is like the best one that i know I know that there is a COGS one, but I don't know how good the COGS one is, but in the, down in the uh, bottom left corner back there. But yeah, this is, a, this, this is one of the worst hearts. Um, I have yet to show you some of the other wor bad ones. There's like one really bad one in Blood Tide Coast, and one really bad one in... Um... um and I think there's one bad one in Dredgewalk Cliffs as well. Try to yoink this kill real quick here. Yeah, no, this is this is painful. Hello, Quarice. How are you? The stealth one? No, the stealth one is not that bad. No, this, this, this I I would not. I know a lot of people hate the stealth one. Um, when I actually get around to showing you guys how to do that as fast as possible, you guys will look at it like, wow, I didn't know this. Like some of you guys might know the um, the particular route to take for the stealth one in, um, uh, I believe that's in Blaze Ridge Steeps. But no, well, I'll show you guys how to do it as fast as possible. And it's gonna like, you guys are gonna be like, wow, how, wait, what? Who dropped this? Wait, this person is familiar. Wait, is that the charisma? Wait, is th that's a viewer. Wait, what? I actually have a buddy with me. Amazing. Okay, I got my heart done. He actually went out of his way to freaking come here. <laughs> wow. Um, the vista's all the way up top to glide, 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 glide. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna drop a position rewinder here. 
Hoping this doesn't stuff me up. Drop it there. <laughs> oh, you're doing the same map? Okay. Position rewinder, so we teleport back to where we were. Feels good. Okay, so um, one little so one little tour, you guys probably just wondering what the hell I just did there. There is an item you can buy in Sandswept Isles for about 200 or 150,000 karma and some Diffalac crystals. Sandswept Isles, it's a living season 4 map. This thing is probably one of the most useful tools you can have when you're doing speedrun world complete. It literally is a precision rewinder, literally the name of it. So just to give a demonstration of what it is, uh, for some of you guys that don't know what it is, so you go, you equip it once, so it's a bundle, you, and it has infinite uses. It has infinite uses. It has a 30 second cooldown. So press one at one spot. So see this little lightning thing? That's an indication of like when you last left it. You can go anywhere you want, but don't shadow step. If you use something that teleports you ahead, so shadow step or infiltrator signet, it breaks the buff, the precision rewinder. So we're all the way over here now, really, really far to where we first, uh, where we first were. If you use the rewind, it takes you all the way back to where you first left it. It is a very, very convenient thing to have on open world. If you're someone that hates jumping puzzles and you wish you had a Mesmer friend with you, I recommend getting the position rewinder so that you never have to have, you never have to feel that you need a Mesmer buddy with you. If you feel like you're about to do a, the, one of the riskiest jumps in the game and you don't want to have to freaking track, retrack all your progress, take a position rewinder with you and pretty much activate it right after, right before you do a big jump or something. It's a huge thing. I mean, it's not an again. It's not a necessity in world complete. It just helps here and there. Shit, it's the cause. It's not a huge thing to take, but definitely recommended. Yes, it does. Yes, Th there is no limits. There is no limit to position rewinder. There is no limited position rewinder. You can go as far as you can and, uh, before the timer runs out. It has a 30 second timer. Hello, Bian. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's so good. It's very, very nice. Um, so this is just memory, knowing these answers. I don't exactly have any guide telling me what to press. It's just memory for this. Yeah, like it's super it's super nice to have on jumping puzzles because like if you you don't need to you don't literally don't have to worry about losing progress because as long as you put a rewinder right before you do like a jump, you you pretty much will be like perfectly fired. It's really really handy. I missed one. I missed one thing. Is it this guy? Where is it? I'm missing one. I'm missing. I'm missing talking to one. It's one of these guys. Which of these monkeys is it? What am I missing? I, I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Oh my god, it was this guy.
You know, actually, I'm realizing how Chrono Master is probably the better physical attacker. When it is when is bought salvage matter and have 800 more gems? What is the best? What is the best to buy for a new player? Um. Okay. So if you already have the copper salvage matic, I think the second best item to get for a beginner player would probably be. Probably bank store. Uh, sorry, not bank storage. Um, material, ma material expander. I definitely think that's one of the best things to get. All right. Um, for this start, try to interact with all the Quagon lanterns you can in the shark baits. You don't need to worry about killing any extra mods. Uh, mobs. Kill the ice sharks when the shark bait when they get closer to the shark bait, though. Other than that, just. Interact, just spam interact as on as much things as possible here. Trigger, triggering these so you should be able to finish it. There's a shock, where's the shock? Oh, there it is. This, um, this particular heart is just kill stuff. Just kill mobs. Nothing special about this one. I'm going to pass out. Alright, I'll see you around, great dude, dad. Sleep well. Hope your dilemma with your mechanics won't affect you too much. Alright, of course, avoid the champions. Like, don't ignore this event. It is not worth doing. You would spend way too long trying to kill the champions if you try to do that. Yeah, thanks for you for the follow, Cap Drago. Alright, so 74% so far. We are fairly close to finishing this map. I will open up the next giveaway uh, very, very soon. I am going to take like a small 5-10 minute break uh, just to pick up some food. Um, okay, we're not blessed to have the event up here. Okay, so n normally sometimes when you get to this part, there will be an event where there are like two very, very large like icicle formations. It is a it, it is pretty much an event I always recommend you should do because it's literally gets his heart done in like moments. Um, but we do not have the event up. We were unlucky, unfortunately, by the time we got here. But if that event pops up, prioritize that event. Always try to do that event because the event is not up. We have to do this the old school way, which is like actually doing hard stuff. Alright, I'll see you around, Cap uh, uh, Drago. Thank you very much for dropping by.
Interact with cracks as well. Any single crack you can find, just do it. And the Tired Coden. Tired Coden, Hungry Coden. Make sure you feed the Hungry uh, the hungry Coden with the fish. There are fish barrels that are around the area. Oh, did the event just... Oh my god, the event just spawned. Uh, literally like the Tired... Okay, so this is the event that I'm talking about, by the way. When this event actually spawns, this is the event you want to be doing. Yeah, like, th 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 this is this is the event. That's really unfortunate timing. <laughs> it came up, it should have came up like a few minutes ago, <laughs> so we could have just killed everything. But yeah, um, when that event is up, make sure you do that event. It gets the heart done very, very fast compared to what you just saw me do. For anyone curious and that's new to the stream, wondering exactly what I am using, you can do exclamation mark route to get all the information regarding what the tool I'm using and everything about it and where to download it. This is open source. Um, you are welcome to use it yourself to help you with your own world comp. Seven percent. Um, I should have dropped a position rewinder there, but it's okay. You can see every now and then, like if I need to go to a certain distance and I can't particularly mount, I will target a mob in the distance and use my infiltrator signet to teleport 1,200 range closer to it, as you just saw me did in the water. Um, try to use that. Try to utilize that as much as you can. If you're doing, if you're doing ward comp on a thief, make sure you run infiltrator signet and try to utilize pretty much the um, the distance to teleport as much as you can. By the way, Simso, I didn't realize. What armor weapons are you using? Um, so if you want to find out what I'm running for my ward complete, you can do exclamation mark build or builds. Um, and it should... Actually, do exclamation mark build. Exclamation mark build. I, I believe that will give you it. It will be the very, very last um, build. Where it will say, like, world comp build. That'll be, it'll be the very, very last one in the whisper that the bot sends to you. It should be right below the um, the hybrid roaming meta thing for about uh, meta battle. So this is just killing stuff again. Nothing special here. All right. All right. Um, I believe my food coming in a few minutes so right after i finish this heart i'm gonna go be right back for a small period of time um about five five seven minutes or something um i'll open up the first giveaway as well so just quickly put this character Smack in character out the rest of wall comp so uh just to so one other thing for anyone new to the current stream there is a current giveaway which i'm sure most of you guys have seen already it's for a stack of ectos we're also giving away, a bit later in the stream, a Chaos Axe skin. Black Lion skin that was kindly given to us by a friend of mine named John B, who has been a huge supporter of my stream. Um, this skin is worth 380 gold, almost three, 375 gold actually right now. 375 gold Black Lion skin giveaway will be given away today. A little bit towards the end of my stream. So that'll be a big final reward.
drop a position rewinder there. Yeah, thanks for the follows, by the way. So after this map, we're gonna go do Snowden Drifts. After this, let's do a quick power run through it. Way too fast. <laughs> Let's just say it was a very, it was a very, very small meal, so don't worry about it. It was a very, very small meal. Just wanted to get something in my stomach <laughs> before I freaking go grind out three maps. I relax when I run map up and get all stuff here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, th this is a speed run guide, man. I want to try and show people how fast you can actually do this while like trying to explain along the way. Like every single, like any heart that I feel is relevant to actually explain, I will explain it. So for this particular heart, um, just open up cages and kill ads. Nothing, nothing very special here to do. There isn't a like hot spot for these mobs. It's literally just like interact with anything you can, um, and kill whatever you can as well. Run map comp for me, please. <laughs> uh, have you considered adding more channel point rewards? Are those options available only for partners? Um, I can add more channel point rewards. Actually, in fact, I have had additional channel point rewards. One of the ones I occasionally put every now and then is unbind my dodge gear. Now, that's something I put when I do Warby World roaming. Um, I actually make it an option people pay. I think I had it set at 5,000 5, coins. Basically, I let people like unbind my dodge key for 10 minutes. So basically, competitive game mode and not being able to dodge. I'm not. I'm not allowed. I'm well, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to use my my key bind. I can still technically dodge if I click the freaking this thing. If if I click this to dodge, but I'm not gonna do that. That was one thing I had as one of my channel point functions. The other thing I had as a channel point function, and this is when um this is when I'm like I do some PVP. Is I let you guys I let you guys give me a PVP build, whatever the build is. I let. But that's um that's a higher redeem reward. I currently don't have that active right now, but that's another channel point function I have is that I let you guys pick whatever build on whatever class, and I will play it. You have to give me the template code though. You need you, you need to so it is a redeem, um but you need you do need to give me a template code. So yeah, that's another thing I also do on my channel. But that's when I do like PvP stuff. I've actually had I've actually had a quite a quite a lot of fun doing that, because um, people give me like some really really mean builds like Condi Druid or um, freaking uh, Full Trap Guardian taking like st uh, Trapper runes, Wait, so Guardians can go into stealth. It's really <laughs> it's really interesting, really really interesting. Oh, hello, babe. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> 400k points VIP in chat or legendary could be cool. VIP in chat. Actually, I, I think I could do that. I've actually, I was actually considering that. Oh my god, the event's actually off. That's really convenient. It's a very, it's a small event, but it's still an event. Shit, I can't attack that one. That one's still involved. That's okay. One event is better than no event. All right. Um. If the okay. So sometimes this particular room I'm in is filled with um 
enemy creatures it's filled with like a bunch of imps if the imps are not up like they are right now none of the imps oh actually some okay some of the sorry frost bats not imps okay it looks like some of them are actually spawning now um but if the frost if the frost bats aren't spawning just interact with the little writings on the floor there's a couple of like dance writings as you can see in this area just interact with them But yeah, no, I'll definitely consider that uh, boggle. Like, 400,000 freaking channel points or something. Or even 100,000 channel points, and I'll give you VIP status in here. I, I definitely think that's actually... actually. To be honest, actually, I might actually do that. I, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a really, really good idea. I didn't get the freaking swoop. Ten K on making you drink water, for example. <laughs> that's that's a funny one. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick slash age while I'm running around. Uh, we are currently four hours and thirty minutes in, and we're at forty-three percent. I will show you guys um, after perhaps the the map after this map. The map after this map, I will show you guys my uh, my in-game chat of the current slash age, so you guys can see how old we are in this character and how much progression we've done so far. Clean inventory with channel points. Clean inventory with channel points. Holy crap! I don't think I can do that. I don't even know how to clean my inventory. <laughs> I have so much stuff. Any World v. World misses in chat? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Lato. I promise I will get some World v. World gameplay. I promise I will get some World v. World gameplay. Yeah, I'll get some more Thief or some Warrior stuff going. I just want to make a guide. Like, just have one guide underneath my name saying, Oh, Souls just made like a freaking like awesome Central Tier World Complete guide that everyone could look up to. Because this is technically the first time I'm actually making a guide, other than like, I guess, the freaking build one, which isn't really a guide. But this is like, a, th this will be a huge guide, because it's Central Tyria. This isn't no freaking how to make gold in 2020. This is a huge scale guide, um, what I'm trying to do. So will you edit this in narration later? Um, I mean, what I'm going to do is, like, well... Ideally, I'm going to keep part of the questions that you guys are giving me on chat. Like, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm trying to read out the questions. So, because I am going to put it all on YouTube, I am going to edit a little bit of it. Like, I'm just going to edit out, like, the parts of me going AFK for a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to edit out, the, like, the strike missions. But I'm basically going to upload the actual, like, Twitch VOD. Um, do a couple of editing and just keep it, just keep it as that. I just want to have like the raw layout me saying, okay, for this particular heart, do this, for this particular heart, do that. Um, and again, the routes, the, 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 the method that I'm using as well. Like I will include like even in the YouTube videos when I make um, um, the augmented terrier. Which by the way, if anyone's new, if anyone in the current stream is new, um, you can see what I'm using by doing exclamation mark routes if you want to download and use something like this yourself. You are more than welcome to. It's open source. I spoke to Noel, who was the dev uh, for this particular uh, for this for these routes, um, and he said it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine to uh, uh, sh share what I'm using with you guys. Boy needs sleep. What's up? What do you mean, Ning? Also, Ning, did you see my ping in Discord? Thanks, no. <laughs> yeah, don't thank me. Thank him. He's the reason why I can show you guys, like, this cool stuff. Like, I'm sure some of you guys thought, hmm. How does someone do world comp in less than 12 hours? 
Well, this is uh, like th this. This is me explaining it. This is me explaining it. I'm sure a lot of you guys do world comp like uh like there are okay the average world completion by like by a casual player is about 25 to 30 hours. When you hear that someone can do it in half the time, like th this is this is the point of kind of making that guide to show you guys efficiency, um mount usage. The biggest thing, the biggest thing is heart tasks. Because that's the tedious part about World Comp. Ah, yikes, someone else is here. Wait, what the heck? Why is it fully- Oh. There's a bag right on the other player up there. Um, is he gonna kill that? Is he gonna kill that? Is he gonna attack that? Is he gonna attack that? No, he's not, okay. Make sure I leech like every single freaking kill I can here. Um, he's attacking the veteran. I'll attack the veteran a little bit later. Okay, now I'm gonna attack him now. Just leash a kill here. Um, player might try to full res that, so I'll just quickly get a little small res in there. Just to get some credit for that. Full leech mode, by the way. <laughs> what are the top three maps you hate the most and why? Um, Frostgorge Sound is in the top three because it has one of the worst hearts in the game. Um, followed probably by Spark Fly Fen. And then the last one would probably be... Um... I don't actually have a third. I can't think of a third one I actually don't like. that i mean i spot i um muck luck raided them and i and i asked them and um um i asked shari and, and you switch like what what's up with uh ty slash uh, ning slash dice and he said he didn't want to talk about it he replied to me saying that so i'm like oh, okay no problem what about zaitan ones i hate them all no okay or or are probably some of my, my some of my most favorite maps because I can literally get them done in like 15 minutes. There is no hearts in or, and it's okay for some of you guys that think that or are some of the worst maps. When I get or um the Orion region will be the will be on one of the very very last parts of the speed run that I'll be doing. Um, I want to show you guys how to fly through all of that. Now, the reason why I say it's one of my favorites is because there is no hearts. There is no tasks you need to do. It's literally just routes. Like efficiency, just routes. I'm going to show you guys how to power through in the entire Orion region. So it's going to look like nothing for you guys. <laughs> like, it's honestly not that bad. There's no hearts. In fact, like, straight to devastation... Malcor's Leap and Curse Shaw are probably like my probably my three favorite maps. <laughs> oh, well, but again, like that'll be like one of the last things um, on the speedrun guide. But I'm going to show you guys how to power through all of that. Like I will have literally every single map done in less than like 15 minutes. I don't know why they had to bring up back hearts for living season and make them repeatable. Um, probably to give people something to do as a daily method, perhaps. Not sure. Well, actually, another thing is because the hearts actually give, like, if you complete a heart, you can buy, like, five of that map's, um, like, nodes. Like, if you complete a heart in, uh, Istan every day you you can always buy five krakatoric or from that vendor every day yeah what's up jessica how are you all right 
how long was on the giveaway, by the way? Oh, giveaway currently closed. Okay. I will pick out a winner for the second stack of Ectos uh, shortly. Pick it out soon. Twenty-five calcs or tour. Yeah, like that's pretty good. Like I, th I think I think that's one of the reasons why Ainet made the living season uh four hearts like repeatable. So people can have an alternate way to get node currencies. Okay, uh for this particular heart, what you can do is beat up as many shamans as possible, but also try to pick up elixirs. Around the area there'll be little boxes of stolen elixirs. Make sure you pick them up because they are a fair contribution to the actual heart progress. Kill stuff, interact with, interact with stolen elixirs. Now, you don't need to go hand them in unless you really, really want to. I think it's easy to just kill most mobs here. Unless there's someone else around like this guy in the distance over here killing mobs. In that case then, if there is someone else in the area trying to kill mobs, you probably want to consider turning in the elixirs at, the, um, at a point. But if there's someone else in the area, like, hand in the elixirs if you can. So, we're actually pretty close. I'm going to go hand in the elixirs here because we, we we if if there were more mobs around we would have just skipped it but yeah Um, at the end of the next map we do, so after Snowden Drifts, I have to think out which map we got, I'm going to do afterwards. At the end of the next map, I will show you guys progression. So I'll do Slash Age, I will show you guys Machap Bar to show you how far we've gone regarding World Comp, and then compared to how much time we've actually spent. I will pick out the winner for the giveaway soon. Do you use any of those time skills like Branch or whatever? Uh, Branch? You mean the stuff? Wait, what do you mean time skills? Auto. You don't run an add-on for mounts? I was actually given an add-on for my mounts. Um, I know, like, okay, so if you have Guild Wars 2 Radial, if you have Guild Wars 2 Radial, then just use that. I, I actually have most of my mounts freaking, like, keybinded. Like, Alt 1 is my freaking Raptor. Alt 2, sorry, my Bunny. Alt 2 is that. I just have a habit of always freaking going <laughs> over my bloody... Uh, the, the mount panel. Okay, we're gonna just tag a bunch of stuff here. And then go behind LOS just to rally up all the ads real quick here. And we'll cleave them all out. But yeah, if you have, um, wait, reread. Do you use any of those? Rigged not for me. Actually, what kind of speedrunner that reads chat? Well, that's the thing. Like, well, the thing is, it's not like it's a guide. Like, if I wanted to do a speedrun, I would pretty much completely ignore chat. But that's not the point of this. Like, I'm, it's still going to be a very, very, very fast world comp. But at the same time, I'm also going to be explaining things to you guys how to do it. If I wanted to do, like, a freaking record-breaking world comp, I would stream it and just pretty much ignore my chat. But, like, I don't want to do that. I want to make a guide. That's why I'm doing it this way. Where I'm going to try and answer every single question I can. Like, what am I doing? What's the tools I'm using? Why do I do this? Why do I do that? Why, do why don't I do this? Uh, that's the point. It's a speedrun guide. <laughs> What is radio? Uh, so Guild Wars, two, so Guild Wars 2 radial, R A D I A L. Um, that is a overlay, which um, actually overlay or add? Actually, I think it's an add-on. Um, basically, it's like um, it's like a super super easy way to interact with your mounts if you don't if you can't be bothered to like hotkey or anything. Like instead of going to your to your to your um mount panel here and then clicking on the mount, you kind of have like a scroll wheel. It's really, really nice. It's a really, really nice tool if you want to just like quickly pull up your mounts without having to like do this, click on a mount, and then like select that. Uh, people are killing stuff. Ah, shit, there's a champion here.
Yeah, it's um, it, it's a, it's an add-on. I'm pretty sure it's an add-on or an overlay. Um, basically, it just it's it's like a faster way to like pull up mounts. That's basically what it is. Alright, uh, this heart. Okay, this is a painful heart. This is probably like again one of the one of the three painful hearts. If there are people around, if there are people around, you need to be like Omega greedy. If there are people around, this heart's really it's a painful pain in the ass to do. How do I run it with Arc DPS? Um, uh, I'm not 100% sure because I don't have it installed myself. Alright, um, I'm gonna pick out the winner right off this hot. Right off this hot, I'll pick out the winner for the, uh, second giveaway for tonight. Oh, you're talking about those feathers. Like, the consumable feathers. Okay. I was wondering what you guys were talking about. I had Warrior use Feather in a Jewel. Are you kidding me? Wait, really, Lato? Did you... <laughs> Why on earth? That's so stupid. Why on earth would you freaking... Why would you use a consumable in the freaking Jewel? Like, that shouldn't be allowed. Hey, what a freaking meme. I know, yeah, the Harpy Feathers, I know, yeah. I have a lot of the Contrimables on my Revenant. Like, I have, like, the, the, even the freaking Mortar kit and, like, all the pets you can get. Oh, there's an idea. Alright, we can get out of here. Alright, and the winner is... Twilight Zanji. Twilight Zanji, if you are in chat, you are the winner of a stack of Ectos. I need an account name or a tune name to send you the reward. Uh, SimSouls, I have, a, I have a question. Why can't I see the trade channel on Overflow? Okay. Um, temporarily, the Overflow Discord has closed up its trading channel because of the EU blackout that happened about, um, like, 11 days ago, roughly. Um, because of that, we are going to have the trading channel closed in the Overflow until we pretty much see that everything's okay. Like, right now, it looks like EU is pretty stable right now, but just for the safety, like, we're just, we're just gonna have it closed off. We don't plan on opening it until a couple of more days from now. In a couple of days from now, the Overflow trade channel will be open up again, but not right now. Alright, excellent. I have used account name. I'll send you a stack of vectors in a moment. There you go, Sanji. Enjoy the Ectos. I hope that helps you out with your gambling addiction or whatever the hell you do with it. I see, I thought I'd done something. No, no, no. A lot, a lot of people actually thought they did something wrong. No, they just need to, like, check the announcements channel. Check the announcements channel in the overflow, and it'll tell you why. It'll give you all the information. Um, I should have enough meat to just finish this. Okay, so for this particular heart, what you want to do is kill as many of the um, bears as possible. When you get to about 50%, you should be able to just finish it with the meat. Okay, no, I missed a few kills. Um, at, at about 50 to 60 percent on the heart, after killing all the Arctodus, whatever they're called, Arctodus, Arctodus, whatever that, yeah, this thingy. Um, at 50 percent, at 50 to 60 percent, you should have enough meat to hand into the NPC, so you should pretty much be fine after that. Uh, 
Uh, this next heart might... Actually, no, this looks this, this looks okay. Okay, thankfully there's no one around, so I'm going to pull all these ads here. This is just a killing thing. Nothing intense. Try to use some LOS here, just drag some mobs. Or is this tree not fat enough? This tree is not fat enough. Okay, forget it. Can't use LOS. Um, another big tip in P when you're doing, um, like, when you're trying to cleave ads, try to always pull, like, if you're near LOS, like near a wall or something, try to pull the ads behind a wall so then it's much easier to cleave them out. Like, you can just, like, staff 5 stomp or staff 2 cleave. Really, really easy stuff to do. Good morning, Cyprian. How are you? Um, what did I miss there? Sim, how do you get that super burst of speed? The super burst I speed I do is because I jump dodge. I, I, do, I, do a, I do a jump dodge a lot of the time. Although for some reason it's not actually showing it on my thing anymore. I play Thief and I never get that fast. Um, are you sure? I'm not sure. It might be my ping. It might actually be my ping that makes it look like I'm getting a burst of speed. Right now my ping says zero, so something's wrong with my ping. Dash, jump, dodge doesn't give extra speed. Really? I thought it kind of did. We have one heart left to do, I'm gonna be away. When I try to set a new record. No, 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 no. This is not gonna be a world record stream. I, <laughs> If I'm gonna do that, I would pretty much like have to not pay attention to chat. The point of this is like a, it's like a, I'm trying to do a speedrun guide. So I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but also trying to include all of, all the relevant information in the like the world comp. Like tell people, okay, this is what you should be doing for hearts. Like basically demonstrating. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? This is what you should be doing kind of thing. But also trying to like answer questions about it on stream. Like that's why I'm doing it on stream. Otherwise I just make a YouTube video and just like be like, okay, here's my new like record run or something. No, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a record stream. It's not gonna be a record. Wait, why are these guys ignoring me? Oh, never mind. How did I miss that? Just saying. Okay. Yo, Boa, 143. Thanks for the thanks for the thanks, thanks for the Twitch sub. I wasn't sure if that was a prime sub, but thank you very much for the T1 sub, man. Welcome to the People of Coin Club. Hope you enjoy the stream so far. All right, we're gonna go do. Okay, we're gonna do the hardest map. Um, <laughs> one of the hardest maps. Sorry, not hardest map. One of the longer maps. This is gonna be. We're gonna do Lorna's Pass, which is a 43 point of interest map. How many keys did you get so far? I'm um, like one or something. I think we got like one. One. So this particular map, I can normally do this map in about. 35 to 40 minutes this is one of the longest like this is the longest map it takes me to complete because there is just so much in it um again this map takes me about 35 to 40 minutes to do i'll try to do it as fast as possible for you guys 
Um, priorities are the drunkards. So pouring water on the drunkards and the fences. Doesn't take very, very long to do the fences. Like, do all the fences first, and then you can go inside. This is my favorite map, actually. <laughs> this is, like, this is definitely one of the longest maps. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any drunks. Okay. Um. Memory time. This guy wants meat. This guy wants a drink. This chick over here wants a drink. Uh, this char here wants meat. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, one of the dudes in the back corner want a drink. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's him. Okay, now we can start beating up people. Or not. I can't interact with them. Okay, that's unfortunate. That guy wants meat. Um, where the heck are the rowdy patrons? The re the <laughs> okay, that's a bit unfortunate. The rowdy patrons seem to be bugged. Normally, the rowdy patrons, you can activate and start fighting them, but they don't seem to want to fight. So that's going to be a slight setback. One of the guys out here wants some meat. That guy does. That guy wants a drink. Are you any are you any more maps after Lorna's Pass? Yeah, I'm probably gonna do the one below Lorna's Pass. Get drunk over here. Alright, easy. So yeah, if the rowdy patrons aren't bugged like they were for us just then, uh fight the fight the um rowdy patrons. Beat them up. It's uh some decent high progress though. Give order to the pass out drunk. Yeah, that's another one you should be doing as well. Unfortunately, there weren't that many sleepy drunks. Like, there weren't, there weren't that many drunkards around. Alright, um, we actually have an event here. And I can see that there's probably someone probably AFK farming here. I'm assuming that's an AFK farmer. What map do you like, XT? Me? I like the I like the Orion maps. I like the Orion maps because there's literally no heart tasks. And they're so easy to do. I can get them done so fast. Like I I, I literally fly through all the Orion maps. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you guys how I do it. Look at the scripts. And again, another little note, just in case some people don't know. When you interact with a Vista, um you don't need to so I'll try to I'll try to show it again. I, I want to show you guys a little trick with the Vista that some of you guys may or may not know. So when you get to a Vista, oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. When you get to a Vista, normally you tap the bottom- Okay, why did I get that perfect the first time and why am I failing it now? I literally got there like perfectly the first time now I can't even get back there. I'll do it at this Vista. Okay, when you get to a Vista, normally a lot of people move the cursor to the bottom right corner and hit the close button. What you can do is just quickly press F and press the escape button. Just quickly, like, press F just to interact with it and then press the escape button. 
Um, okay, for this particular heart, try to kill any pack of rodents that, like... So, there's a bunch of, like, amping creatures around here, as you can see. Try to kill all of them before you bother picking up picking up any, um, tractables. Like, just pick up any... Kill any, like, little ambient creatures around first. Because they give a decent amount of heart contribution for this heart. Um, so there's a bunch of ambience here, so that's going to give us a nice progression there. Okay, so we're already less than about 15 seconds in the side, and we've just about almost finished it. And then you can start, well, like, if there's not that many ambient creatures around, that's when you can uh, start interacting with the scrap metals and then put them in the barrels. So, uh, less than 30 seconds of that heart. Look how beautiful this map is. I mean, yeah, that's another thing, is that I'm literally doing a tour of Central Terra. You get to see every single thing, because I'm doing literally everything in every single map. You get to explore every single thing for those people that haven't done World Cup before. This is the stuff you're missing, you're missing out on. <laughs> literally, like, nourished with content. You using Orc tier? Yes, I'm using Augmented tier. Yeah. Oh, really? But I think a thousand gold is. Yeah, I know exactly, exactly, Ning. A thousand gold is a thousand gold. Like, I'm, I'm technically making a thousand gold at the end of this run. Just because the gift of masteries. Um, nothing special at this heart. Just kill stuff. Um, there is some egg sacs actually that you can interact in here. Um, except I don't know if this is actually faster doing. If you can, if you know how to quickly interact and then weapon swap, just to cut the, um, the animation locking. So what I'm doing right now is just pressing F once, weapon swap, press F, weapon swap, press F, weapon swap. And then try to kill any, I guess, ad that kind of comes up. Yeah, so this, this, this heart didn't take too long. And we're out of here. I uh, get some speed, because I'm going to do roller beetle stuff here in a second. There. Um, someone is here. Yikes. Oh wait, no, so, some of the things are actually spawning, thank god. Do you find it fun? Um, do I find this fun? I mean, it's not boring for me. Like, I don't find World Complete tedious just because I do it hella fast. <laughs> like, f if, I, if I was slow at this, I definitely don't think I'd have as much fun. Um, I don't know, Th what, 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 what I think, what I think I find it fun for myself is trying to beat my time, like, always trying, like, if I'm in a very, very try-hard mood, I'll actually, like, consider trying to, like, make a new world record. Um, now, I, I've done that twice. The first time I did it, I got 11 hours, 43 minutes, and I'm like, damn, 11 hours, 43 minutes to do 0 to 100% world complete. That's hella fast. And then, like, a month later, I tried to beat it, and I beat it by 4 minutes. And now the new world record is 11 hours and 39 minutes. Now, beating it by 4 minutes isn't much, but that's still something. <laughs> uh, there is literally nothing in here to kill. Everything's just, like, dead. I might need to actually do this event now. Yeah, what's up, Boosted ADC God? How are you? I find you fun. Thank you very much, Gypsy Goat. I find you fun to... <laughs> I guess Tiny Teacup also finds me fun. <laughs> sub 10 hours? No, I don't think I can do sub 10 hours. I, I, I literally... Okay, the world record run... I had almost the most, I had probably the, almost the most perfect run. Almost. 
the most perfect run. And I'm thinking, okay, there's absolutely no way anyone can do this in less than 10 hours. It is impossible to do this in less than 10 hours. Like, I had such a good run. All the events were up when I needed them to, uh, when I needed them to be. Like, everything. Everything lined up beautifully. But, nah, to get sub-10 hours on Morgan Play, I don't think that's possible. I do not think that's actually possible. What do you call a simp that simps for guys? I have no idea, Lotto. What is it? You tell me. Speedrunners be challenge, be like challenge accepted. <laughs> I mean, it's not that easy. I tried to go as fast as I freaking could, and the fastest time I could get was 11 hours and 39 minutes. I can't get faster than that. Like, uh, if okay, if we accounted a few other variables, I think the fastest time I probably could have got was maybe like a like maybe closer to 11 hours, but 10 hours, no way. There is absolutely no way. I would give someone 500 gold if they could get sub sub 10 hours. If someone could get sub 10 hours, I would give them 500 gold. And I want a clean screenshot, a clean recording of everything. A simp. Okay, well that makes sense, Lata. There's nothing to kill here. Everyone's freaking here. Like, I can't even hand in the freaking documents I picked up because it's just not enough. Maybe it is now, so... Yeah, I know, exactly. Yeah, I've already been here, well, not 15 minutes, but, like, a damn long time. Like, it does... The, the, when there's no one around, like, I'm actually surprised there are a lot of people. I mean, I guess it's midday for Europe, but still. I guess it kind of makes sense because I don't normally do my World Comp at this time. When I'm doing, like, my rec my record runs, I do it when, like, everyone's asleep. Like, the time I'm doing World Complete, it's, like, freaking 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning for Europe. I have no competition. I don't need to deal with freaking people yoinking my kills. <laughs> But again, that's the point of having, like, unfortunately, that, that, that's the point of having a really, really fast world comp is, um, it's RNG. Even based on players, it's RNG. I do this hot later. I come back here a bit later. I'm always awake, Monka Vega. <laughs> A good thing I don't have to compete against you. So lunch time? Well, no, like the, the no the the time I normally do my ward complete, it's literally like yeah, like roughly like lunch time for me or something. Yeah, it's like roughly like lunch time for me. But um yeah, no, it's like hella dead on Europe. Because I do, because for like most of Central Europe, it's like four in the morning, and there's like no one around. But because I stream around this time, which is my, it's 8 p.m. for me right now in Australia. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely alive. As you can see, there are lots of either like beginner players or just characters trying to do their world complete or something. But we want to get this map done in about 35 minutes. No longer than like 35, like 40 minutes tops. 40 minutes tops is how long we want to be in here. I know it's Lorna's Pass. Lorna's Pass is one of the longest maps to do. But it's about 40 minutes is a good time. Doing this map in about 40 minutes is a very, very good time. Or does it have to be 10 hours straight? Technically, you can always log out of a character and wait for the event. I mean, you can do... Okay, so when you when you log out of a character... So if I, go, if I go to, like, character select... Oh, whoops. If I go to character select, um, it doesn't, like, increase the timer. Like, it just it freezes the timer on my character. But you would only do that if you really, really, really want to, like, min-max a run. But that's not worth it. Like, waiting for an event to spawn just to get, like, a slightly faster world comp time, it's really not that worth it. Like, you would need to literally, like... Tab back in every now and then just to um 
Uh, j just to freaking check if the event's up or not. And keep your character parked there or something. It's not ideal. Sub 10, sub 10 hour unrestricted, go. Oh my god. No, I can't do this. I wish I could. Like, if I could get sub 10 hours, I would freaking shout that <laughs> on the forums. Saying, guess what? New world record, boys. 10 hours. Central tier, welcome plate. But, like, the thing is, if you were to get sub 10 hours, and, like, I know central tier, I welcome plate almost at, the, like, the back of my hand. If you can get sub 10 hours, I'd honestly be thinking you'd be using some kind, of, some kind of cheat program. Like, I really don't think it's possible to get, like, sub 10 hours. Like, you would need, you, you'd be using, like, some speed act or something to get that. Uh, so I'm around squad of Mesmus to put me around and I'll get sub 10 <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. If you, okay, that doesn't count. That does not count using freaking Mesmus and friends. You need to be by yourself. It is a solo World Cup session. Hello, Albenza. Welcome to the stream. They can exploit bugs then? What bugs are there in World Complete? There's not that there's not that many bugs in World Complete. In fact, there's actually a few bugs in World Complete which kinda cuck you. Like the freaking rowdy patrons that didn't want to fight us. But yeah, like, um, there's some very, very nice scenery when you do World Complete. You get a nice look of literally about everything in the game. Which is like, I guess if that's something up your alley, if that's something you enjoy about the game, is the scenery and content of it, then more of a reason to do World Complete. I heard from Aina that mount skin is a big difference. <laughs> Shut up, boosted ADC god. Oh, you lied to me. Um, is the event up here? Doesn't look like it is. Okay. Uh, quickly feed the Diax here. Wait, hold on. Grab that. Feed. Grab. Feed. Grab. Easy event, leech. Radio mount equals sub 10. No, it, do, it does not. Ra using guild rules to radial is not going to give you freaking sub 10 hours on more complete. 
I can confirm that. Not even radio mount add-on, but even num keys are great for mount. I mean, I have like, again, I actually have all my mounts key binder, but I still have a habit of freaking pulling up the bloody mount like panel to do it my to do it there. Like it's a really bad habit, <laughs> but yeah. Like, I don't actually think I have a freaking keybind for my roller beetle, actually. I have a keybind for, like, the wolf, the griffin, like, everything else other than, like, the freaking sky scale and beetle. I don't think I have a keybind for those. Okay, uh, this heart. Now, there is two ways you can do it. Either you can play around with the freaking uh, testing apparatuses and, like, just do random things in here. Um, although it's not really worth doing, in my opinion. Um, instead, just grab a gun and just go over the imp portal locations and just uh, activate it and spam one. Now, you can start actually spamming the auto attack before the character model appears up and you'll actually be doing damage to it. So, press F and then just start pressing 1 and you'll start doing damage to it. Just make sure that you're lined up to it. So, pretty much by the time the enemy model appears in front of you, it's going to pretty much lose all of its health. So, spam 1 and it's pretty much dead by the time it comes out. You don't need to wait for the actual character model to appear for you to be doing damage. Just wait until you pretty much see the experience, um, the, the, the experience from the kill, and then you're, you're pretty much safe from that. Kill him before they spawn, big cheat. <laughs> I mean, it saves you a few seconds. Ah, yikes. I was hoping to get that on the first shot. Underwater mount incoming? Underwater expansion incoming? Question mark? Um, do we have the events here or not? Doesn't look like we do. Okay, we do not we do not have the event here. That's okay. It doesn't look like anyone else is here, so that's a good sign. Okay, I lied, someone else is here. Um oh, Okay, I'm gonna let him interact with the stuff first. Because he seems to be interacting. Okay, so when you have someone else in the area, what you can do is... So I want to wait for him to interact with it. Because, okay, so when you have someone else interact with something you can also interact with that generally spawns a mob, what you should do is wait for either you or that person to interact with it first. So I'll just quickly leech, uh, just get this attack here. 
So, when you interact with something that spawns a mob and there's someone else in the area, what you should do is wait for them to interact with it first so that the mob spawns, so then you can actually get some credit off attacking their spawned mob, and then you can interact with the item that spawned the mob, so then it also spawns a second mob, so then you and that player can both also get credit for, instead of interacting with an item at the same time. If you interact with an item, if you interact with something that spawns the same mob at the same time, only one mob will spawn and only one credit will be given. So, little piece of information there for interactions throughout Central Tyria that spawn additional ads. Is wait for them. So these air vents, all are just about all of these air vents will spawn a dredge. If someone else is here, I'm gonna wait for them to interact with it first, so that it spawns um, a dredge, and then I'll interact with the air vent so it spawns a second dredge from the same vent. That's the best thing to do if you're trying to maximize like killing these things. So he might interact with it now, maybe? Question mark. Yeah, he is. So I'm gonna try and get a kill there. So this person might even may interact with it now. But yeah, this is like the best thing you can do. Like, there's another person here, so he might interact with stuff as well, maybe. Um, there's a bunch of ads. No! There's a bunch of ads, and they just got just cleaved them all. Um, that's not worth being here. I can't remember if these grubs give... No, they don't. Um, there seems to be an event here, so this is a good sign. They are invuln frames. Yeah. Just, just remember that. If you interact with something that can spawn a mob, and you have someone else nearby, chances are they're not going to wait for you to spawn, so wait for them to spawn it, so then you can at least get two mobs to spawn from the same interaction. Like, it's, it's literally just a better thing to do. You get credit, and the person next to you also gets, like, twice the credit. Literally working together, and you get better rewards. Try to glide close enough so if you do happen to fall and die, you can at least land close to the waypoint there. Good morning, Dope Salamander. Welcome to the stream. Um. Okay. Um. There are two ways you can do this heart. Normally, if this place is under siege, like if it's under, if it's under en enemy uh, control, a lot of these mobs are attackable, and you can actually kill these pirates here. If this pirate, um, if this pirate area isn't, doesn't, isn't basically filled with mobs for you to kill, the alternative way to complete this heart is pretty much getting all of the treasure, all the loot, the bags of loot, and the pirate chest. Interact with every single pirate chest you can. Um, that is the only way you can complete this heart if you cannot attack the NPCs here. So, because this looks like it's underneath our um, control, we can't attack the pirates here, so we need to do this the old, slower way. Uh, there's no giveaway currently right now. I will open one soon. Um, in fact, actually, the next one I'll be opening will be the Chaos Axe Skin giveaway, which I'll open up a lot later. Um, that is a 300 gold Black Lion skin. So a lucky winner will be 300 gold richer. Um, because of the size of it, um, I'm going to have it, like, I'm just going to do that giveaway a lot later. Towards the end of my stream is when I'll do it. Because it is a big giveaway. Alright, I missed something. I missed one thing somewhere. 
No, I missed this. This is what I missed. So yeah. And now we can be done. We are out of here. Well, not completely out of here, but yeah. I forgot one thing. I might just gonna start. Wait, hold on. Wait, what was that? Crafting underwater legendary if underwater raid wing comes. Underwater raid. I don't think they'll ever do an underwater raid wing. I think that will get a lot of flack. I really think the community will like freaking riot if Ain't It released an underwater freaking raid. Any words of motivation for my world comp journey? Um. Oh, speed is key. <laughs> okay, look at it this way. When you get those two gifts of exploration, indirectly, you just got yourself a thousand gold. You get those two gifts of exploration, you just made yourself this, like, a lot more closer to achieving 1,000 gold. One gift of exploration, technically turned into a gift of mastery, is valued at 500 gold. Gift of Mastery, like the hardest part of the gift, making the Gift of Mastery, which is worth 500 gold, is the Gift of Exploration. You get two of those each time you finish a character of World Complete. So at the end of this run, I'm going to be a thousand gold richer. That is the thing you have going for yourself. Other than that, um, Black Lion Keys. You get like, if you if you happen to be like kind of lucky, you do get a nice amount of Black Lion Keys. I believe I only have one. Yeah, I've already, I've already got on, like, one Black Lion King and watching this run, and we opened it up on stream yesterday. I didn't get, um, I didn't get fortunate, unfortunately. Ah, yikes. Why did my Griffin deploy so late? Oh uh, man. My point. A thousand gold and minus twenty something hours, how long is well complete? Well, it depends how fast you are. I can make a thousand gold in like twelve hours by just literally just doing world complete. Yes, okay, the other account bands resources are like gifts of battle and all that, but if you get them passively in World World, and when I say passively, I mean if you are someone that actively plays World World, then gifts of battle come to you pretty much passively. Like, I don't look at I, I don't look at getting gifts of battle as a grind for me because I actively play World V World and I always have gifts of battle as like my reward track. So that comes to me that comes to me passively. The only thing, the only thing other than the actual world complete that eats up resources is the karma needed to make, like, you need to make, you need a lot of obsidian shards. And if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of karma, then yeah, then you kind of, you kind of need to put some extra time into, um, obtaining karma to buy obsidian shards. Souls world rocket, yeah. My world rocket is 11 hours and 39 minutes. That is the fastest time that anyone has ever done in this game. Okay, um, to reiterate what I'm going over with this heart, nothing, like, nothing special, no fancy tips, it's just kill Etans, interact with the, um, interactables. Press F along the bat, just every single interactable. So we're at 91%, so I think we've spent just over half an hour, I think, so far? I think we're just over, just over half an hour so far on this run? On, uh, on this map, and we've just about finished Lorna's Pass. So, um, when I finish this map, I will do a slash age. So I'll show you guys how long we've spent on this character so far, and our current world complete. Selling a Gift of Mastery is a bit of a hassle, yes, because you do need, like, other account-bound resources in order to sell it. That is correct, Dope Salamander. You consider World v World Gift of Battle is the best you consider is an okay route, and it gives gifts? Wait, hold on. Uh, I need to read that again. You consider World v World Gift of Battle is the best, or you consider it's an okay shroud and it gives gifts. 
Give the battle. Do you mean the reward track? Do I think that's the best reward track, Madami? Is that what you're asking? For me, it is good because I do world complete myself every now and then, and I need two gifts of battle for that. So while I'm doing my world be world roaming on stream for you guys, or if I feel just like roaming off stream or something, I'm passively getting gifts of battle. Like for me, um, yes, I like if you're someone that's planning to make a bunch of legendaries. Um, so if you plan, if you're someone that's basically good at planning to do like a bunch of world complete, yes, you should have gifts of battle because that's like you can't. You can't liquidate those gifts of exploration that you got from World Complete unless you have gifts of battles on you. Yeah, had 50 gifts of battles and I ain't using them. Okay, well then, if you have 50 gifts of battle, you saved yourself a lot of time if you ever plan to do World Complete. If you really have that many gifts of battle, you saved yourself so much time if you ever plan to do world complete and like turn that gift of battle, that gift of exploration into a mastery to just like make it to legendary weapons, either for yourself or to sell to people. Like I know, that, like there's lots of people out there, and I know this because I, I I buy from some of these huge these huge whales. I've seen people with like 50, 60, 70, 80 gifts of exploration just lying around, and they come to me like, uh, what do I do with this? I'm like, well. These 80 gifts of these 80 gifts of expiration you have in your inventory right now is 40,000 gold, and they're like, "What? 40,000 gold? How?" And I tell them, "All you need to do is just farm the gifts of battle." <laughs> like there is literally people sitting on like crap ton of gifts of expiration just because they do world comp as a hobby for themselves, and like th they don't realize how much gold they're sitting on. Like that's a freaking gold mine. <laughs> Alright, um, so we're gonna do Dredge Honk Clip? No, Timberline Force. Timberline Force is the next map we're gonna do. World Comp is a- No, I'm not lying twice! There are straight up people that freaking do World Comp as a hobby, just on the side because it's relaxing for them or something. Okay, so just to, just to show you guys something real quick here. So we're currently- We have done 49% of the current World Complete, so literally halfway now. And we are at 5 hours and 30 minutes on the timer. 5 hours, 30 minutes, and we are 50% of the way. So I definitely think we're going to get sub-15 hours in a speedrun guide. Um, that's a pretty decent time. That, that, that's, that's honestly pretty good. Uh, that, that is a pretty good time. Okay, um, this particular heart... No, just going to have my chat cover again. Um, for this particular heart, interact with the meat stands. They are very... This freaking NPC will be on top of you if she wants an event. Um, interact with the drunks actually later. If you stand on some of these tables, you can actually interact with some of these tables. So stand on the middle of them and just pretty much interact and then weapon swap. Interact and then weapon swap and just do that for, to every single table that is interactable. Most of these tables are. Do this before you do anything else. This is the, this is top priority for this heart. If the event is up, then you can focus on the scrits instead. Like, um, killing the scrits and stuff. There are a bunch of, like, drunk script that come here or something. Uh, second priority is probably the meat stands. So there is, like, a, some meat stands around the area. Um, interact with the meat stands before anything. If, the, you've, if you've interacted with all meat stands and you've interacted with all tables, then you can focus on doing the uh, passed out trunk. So grab a, grab a water bucket and just pour it over these guys. Sub 10 hour if you go full tryout. Yeah, but, like, no. Like, it's not possible! It is not possible to get sub 10 hours! I tried my best! There is no way I can cut an hour and 40 minutes on my, like, best run. There is no way! It's impossible! You need to be using, like, some freaking, like, illegal program if you do that. It's not possible! I shit you not, it's not possible! <laughs> Alright, um, okay, for this particular heart, there is two ways you can do it. You can either grab, so we're going to do the one that interacts with the 
um, the staff, we're going to interact with the elementals. Now, with one, with interacting with this NPC once, you can pretty much get one full run. So talk to this guy. First option, say yes, take an experimental staff. Now, what you want to do is go around looking for these. Why are some of them not up? Uh, that's not a good sign. No one else has been here. Okay. Um, these fishes. These fishes are the things to prioritize here. So you want to use your staff two skill. You pretty much spawn an elemental. Now, what you want to do with these elementals is that you want to pretty much spam one right afterwards. Um, we're not going to get this on the first try, unfortunately, because some of the fisher spawn fisher some of the fisher spawns aren't actually up right now because someone else has been here recently. If no, basically, if no, if basically no one is around for this particular heart, you can pretty much just loop around once, and you will get your heart done with like one run. You don't need to go back a second time to pick up another staff. You just need to know where the fish, where the fisher spawns are. So there's two over the bridge here. Um, this bridge, uh, this, this is the bridge, by the way, that I'm that I just talked about. And there's one up on the hill here. Yeah. But um, again, if you have other people in the area, um, unfortunately, if they also spawn the fisher, it doesn't spawn twice. So we probably have to pick up the staff again, just because there is someone else here. Yeah, so this fisher here that you see, this wasn't here before when I first checked here. Neither was this one. Our staff should disappear on us very shortly. The timer should be running out soon. There's one more fisher over here, so you can try and nab this one real quick. The alternative to doing this heart is, um... No more fishes. No more fishes. Okay. Um, the alternative to doing this heart is instead of talking to the first NPC, this is the NPC we talked to. Talk to this one, Crew Leader Kratz, and they will give you a um. No, not this one. Which one is it? This one. It's an experiment. What do these ones give you? Like a freaking gun, and with that gun you go like kill spider. Yeah. This. Okay. So that's the NPC. Exper exterminate a naf. Now, when you have the gun, you pretty much go on this side and you need to interact with the spider nests. I believe it's just number one skill to trigger it. Yeah, number one skill triggers it. And pretty much you can just kill these little spiders here. That is another way to do this hut. However, I do think the interacting with the fishers is a faster way to do this hut. So yeah. Just over five hours, and we have 50% done on War Complete. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty. <gasps> we are blessed with an event here. This is a very, this is a wonderful event to do for this heart. This is really fortunate for us. Uh, my bags are full. Wait, this is really good. This heart being up just literally cuts this by so much more time. Really, really good thing that that came up at the perfect time. Well, actually, we had 10 seconds left on that heart. How many hours? Ah, uh, so we're currently at 5 hours and 30 minutes. 5 hours and 30 minutes, and we are 50% on the world complete. Oh my god, we got lucky again. This event is also up. This is another good event. If this event isn't up, this heart's a bit of a pain in the ass to do. This event spawns a lot of ads for you to kill. And again, just kill everything. Kill everything that's here. RNG is slightly on our side today for this uh, for this map. If this, if generally, if this map doesn't um, sorry, if this heart doesn't have this event up, you have to go interact with. Um, you have to go pick up these like random items. So see this axe over here? See that bundle in the distance over there? You pretty much need to go pick this up and put it inside the storage crate. Um, that's pretty, pretty much the alternative to doing this heart. So again, we've got this heart done in less than 30 seconds because of the event. Very, very useful. Very, very fortunate. Um, okay. For this heart, there is a bunch of ads that are sometimes inside this camp. Yes, there are! 
God damn. Okay, when all these ads are inside this camp, come in, come inside this little area and just cleave everything. Kill everything in here, and then if he doesn't, if you, if it's not enough to complete the heart, then like you can go back out. Actually, I believe all mobs actually start running in after some time. I might be mistaken. Sometimes, sometimes this bunch of mobs aren't actually here. Um, sometimes you'll be unlucky and all the mobs won't actually be inside. If they are, prioritize coming in here first for this heart. Um, so you can just kill everything in here real quick, because that just boosted our thing for from 0 to 50% real quick there. Um, it doesn't look like we have anything else running in, so we'll just have to do everything else manually now. I heard that you beat the world record of world completion. Yes, I hold the world record. It's 11 hours and 39 minutes. But, again, like... Getting a fast world complete is iron G. Like, that's the unfortunate part about it, because it's really dependent on if certain events are up for certain hearts to make things really, really easy. All right, I'm gonna go. All right, I'll see you around, Boosted ADC God. Thanks for dropping by. You can see every now and then I even target the ambient creatures just to shadow step to with the infiltrator signet, just to get that bit of distance. But yeah, like so far it's looking pretty good. We're not aiming for a world record, like this is not a world record breaking stream. This is just a speedrun guide, just on how to like do things as fast as possible regarding world complete. I'm not aiming for a world record timer. <laughs> If I was if I was aiming for a world record timer, I wouldn't be talking. I literally wouldn't be talking. I'd be ignoring chat. <laughs> like I just want to try and do this as fast as possible while also trying to like explain everything as well, like um. Why can't I move? Okay, strange. Getting down an open world. <laughs> Dude, mobs hurt, man. Don't estimate PvE mobs, Cougar. <laughs> ah, yikes. Imagine getting put in combat. Come on, let me break. Cool. Alright, um, this is a slightly annoying heart. There is no event here either. Um, okay, uh, priority for this heart is go down to the bottom and, oh my god. Did we really get ported back? Okay, we got ported back. Thank you, game. We had this happen yesterday. For anyone that was watching yesterday's stream, we just, we had the same thing happen yesterday, today again. Where we just randomly get ported back to the last waypoint we were. As I was saying, prioritize the cages and the water down here. Um, again, slightly RNG. Okay, someone already came and killed all the cages. Um, normally these cage, see all these cages here. You can actually attack them because they have like um the frog race. Um, the Nuhok. They have like a bunch of Nuhok inside these cages, and you pretty much like save them. Um, a lot of these cages become like attackable, and it actually does a lot of heart right so you so you can see already see some of the some of the cages are actually spawning up again bot checking kick w dude freaking screw the bot checking man. let me freaking do my run <laughs> that's the second okay so that happened to us freaking yesterday which is really unfortunate is that what zones do you have left for part two um the zones i have left for part two so i think it's Dredgehaunt Cliffs? Yeah, Dredgehaunt Cliffs and... I think it's just Dredgehaunt Cliffs. Yeah, it's just Dredgehaunt Cliffs. Dredgehaunt Dredge Dredge Cliffs is the last map for this, for, for the Shiver Peaks region. I'm, I'm going to try and do it region by region, so the next region I'll do will be Ascalon. I will be doing the Ascalon maps um, on the Part 3 guide. This, we're just doing, we're just doing uh, Shiver Peaks right now for this one. So this will be... Um, second last map, basically. I think I've done every all the other snowy maps. I think. I 
I'm pretty sure I've done all the other snowy maps. Oh, shiver pokes. Tell me if I'm missing something. By the way, how do you get that, that green line that tells you where to go? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Boggle. It is, um, so yeah, yesterday I was telling you guys I wasn't sure if I could share the, um, th this, this, uh, these markers I'm using. I spoke to Noel, who is, um, a friend of mine, um, and he said, pretty much go ham. I'm allowed to share, I'm allowed to share the, um, um, this, this program I'm using, this tool, uh, to help me do world complete, uh, with you guys. So, yeah, um, thank you very much, Boggle, for showing it. You can find and download what I'm using to help you with your own world complete. Uh, with that link, it is a, is inside of Google Docs. The project the project isn't actually completely finished, as I clarify um, in that command. It's not completely finished, and Noel, the developer of these routes, doesn't plan on actually finishing it. He is currently focusing his world comp stuff on Taco, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with, the tactical overlay. Um, he will be finishing the world comp stuff on the Taco markers, not augmented terrier. Do you ever use Griffin once you once you have Skyscale? Um, yes, yes. There are some parts of World Complete where I use my Griffin. Yes. Um, because we actually have one more map to do for part two, I will open up the giveaway. Um, at the end of this map. So just to reiterate what we're giving away. Um, we have we were kindly generously donated a chaos axe skin worth 300 370 something gold yeah 375 gold we have we are, will be given away a chaos axe skin worth 375 gold i will be giving that away at the end of roughly pretty much the end of the stream because at the end of my stream will be um the very very last map which will be dredge on cliffs so i will open up the giveaway when we finish this map so throughout the very very last map um i'll give you guys plenty of time to pretty much enter for the giveaway there is no the giveaway isn't open just yet not yet <laughs> not yet not yet when I finish this map and I do the and I start doing the last map, that's when I'll open it. Lily, Lily even gave me the freaking Guildhall's Two radial add-on, and I still like didn't even freaking put it on yet. She'll be disappointed with me. All right, um, this heart. Priority, talk uh, alchemy table first. So alchemy table for anything else, just spam the first option, just so you get like a nice chunk of the heart done. Uh, then pick up a potion table. So right next to the alchemy table, there is a potion table. With the potion table, it gives you a potion toss. Basically just chuck it at a random mob. Um, Second priority is Mysterious Plants. So there is a bunch of Mysterious Plants, as you can see, scattered around the area. Give it back to the frog. Um, I don't know the timer, but in about 20 seconds, I believe, 20 or 30 seconds, the alchemy table becomes interactable again. Um, this is always top priority for this heart. Always interact with the alchemy table as soon as it's up, because it gives you the biggest chunk of heart contribution than anything else. Don't worry too much about killing ads or anything. Always prioritize um, alchemy table if they are up. I don't think this is count. Yeah, this, that one doesn't count. It's like the alchemy table is on like a 20 second cooldown or something. Like it's very, very short. Like the alchemy table should be up in a moment here. Yeah, there it is. So it's up again. So this now we just finish our heart here. If the event is up, the usually the event that spawns here is a crate. Um, it's a bunch like a bunch of crate and start invading this little little frog city frog town um ignore the events prioritize alchemy table it's not really worth doing the events here I, like there are a decent amount of mobs that spawn but i think it's better prioritizing the um whoops i forgot to get something um rewind it real quick here
Oh, go back. That's the waypoint. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Too busy talking. You forgot to get the waypoint. Alright, uh, this art, kill items. Kill items, activate traps. That's the best thing you can do for this art. Nothing fancy, it's just kill and interact. Oh, and the torches as well. Again, like, do quick interactions. Like, when you tr when you go to set an actual trap, make sure that you're out of combat so you can do a quick interact and then weapon swap to cancel the um, animation lock. So, I'll show you exactly what I mean um, in a second. Stop moving. So, I think the torches have it as well. No. Okay, so, add and trap. If you quickly press F and then weapon swap, you still get the tri you still get the points for it. So, you can see right there. I just got the points for it. Um, so you don't need to stand in one spot pretty much wait, like waiting for the trap. It saves you a couple of seconds. It's always worth it's always worth doing it. Always try weapon swapping um, things that you can interact with because you will still get heart progression even though um, like you, you can't it looks like you cancelled the animation but you really didn't. It'll actually contribute to the heart progress. So always try to remember that. With pretty much most central Tyrion um, interactables you can do that with. Um, uh, okay, we do not have a lot of script here to actually kill. Uh, this is a little bit unfortunate. We've been, we've been actually pretty lucky with the majority of this map. Like, we've, like, we've pretty much blew through, like, the first three hearts because events were up, like, perfectly timed. So, we're actually, we actually might finish this map, but at a pretty quick, uh, qu pretty qu quick pace. Where the heck is the bucket? Should be some more screw on the other side of this cave, I think. Yeah, there is. Alright. Out of here. Um I guess while I still have most of your attention. Um, I'll let you guys pick. Do you guys, like, so again, I said this yesterday, I don't exactly know if I should be doing this, like, should I just do five days in a row, or five, like, consecutive streams of me just doing this, or should I kind of split it, like, I want to know what you guys think, like, do you, got, do you guys enjoy this, do you, do you guys enjoy, like, me, seeing me, like, kind of do this particular thing, or do you want me to go back to pretty much doing what I used to always do, which was, like, strike mission, like, stream my fractals, strikes, uh, PvP, World v. World, pug raids, or do you guys actually enjoy this? Because if you guys actually enjoy this, if a majority of you actually enjoy this, then I will consider then the next time I stream to be doing part three of the speedrun guide. But that is your call. That is up to you guys. Like, it's up to this. Like, it's it's easier for me to, like, interact with you guys as well because I'm not super hard concentrated on things. Like, I am trying to do is like as, things as fast as possible. But it's, like, very, very chill. Like, it's nothing, like, too, like, too hard, like, too hardcore or anything. But, um, again, I also don't want to make it stale. Like, uh, that's why I was thinking, like, maybe, okay, maybe tomorrow I'll just do my normal stuff. I'll just go do, like, my strike missions, fractals, pug raids, PvP, world v. world stuff. But if you guys actually enjoy this, I'll consider, um, doing a part three then, like, the next time I stream then. Part three will be Ascalon, by the way. That'll be the next region I'll be doing on stream. So, we're talking Blaze Ridge Steeps. Uh, Fireheart Rise, Plains of Ashford, Fields of Rowan, and Iron Marches. Uh, can I get over this? Can I get over this? Probably not. Oh, I can't get over it. Will that be Monday? Um... Hold on, what do you say? 
Strikes first and fractals and map comp should be your daily routine. Uh, okay, the reason why... Okay, the last two days, today and yesterday, I did my world comp, like, much earlier because... I didn't want to spend too much of my stream time doing fractals because fractals takes like 50 minutes. Like 40, 50 minutes depending on my group. And I'd rather put that time, like, because I'm only going to stream for like three to four hours depending on like my schedule for that day. And I'd much prefer to like smack out world comp for you guys than me doing like my daily fractals or something. But I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Like tomorrow, it's it's a Friday night for me, I believe. Yeah, it's a Friday night for me. Um. So, like, yeah, it's a Friday night for me, so tomorrow, then, maybe I'll stream a bit longer or something. Maybe. Not gonna lie, if you enjoy doing it yourself, then go for it. I mean, I don't I want to see what you guys want. Like, I honestly enjoy, like, playing every part of this game. Nothing in this game really bores me. The only thing that kind of bores me is freaking, like, farming. <laughs> Literally farming, going to Silver Waste or something. Like, that's boring <laughs> for me. Like, I haven't had to farm in a very, very long time. But, yeah. Um, okay, so, it looks like one of the events actually finished here. For this particular heart, um, interact with the ball holes slash kill ads. It's, um, probably the easiest thing you can do here. Um, we might actually have an event here. Maybe? Actually, yeah, we actually do have an event here. We actually do have an event here. So if the destroyer event spawns, prioritize killing the destroyers, then going for the boreholes. The boreholes being are these little things, which you activate and it's an RNG. Sometimes a mob will spawn out, sometimes it won't. It's a completely RNG. What class team comp is good for fractals? Uh, class team comp for fractals, power, quick brand, and a lack ran, um, banner slave, soul beast, and a weaver. 5 DPS. Well, 3 DPS and like 2 semi-support. No healers. That is the meta composition for Fractals. No heal firebrand. A power quick brand, a lacran, banner slave, soul beast, weaver. That is one of the best meta comps you can have for Fractals. It's a nice tool for the old maps. It is a nice tool for the old maps, yes. It's a very, very nice tool for the old maps. And again, like... The, the tool will help people, like, along with, like, my guide, like, it'll help people that are either struggling to do world complete, that absolutely have no motivation to do world complete, people that are looking to build their first legendary or something, like, this is this is what this guide is for. I mean, make things, like, a bit easier for you guys, a bit of, like, a follower. Because Augmented Terror isn't exactly straightforward, like, the, the framework of Augmented Terror is basically just where to go, but it's not going to tell you what to, like, how to do things. That's not what augmented. That's not uh, augmented terror is technically designed for. The raw framework, like dot to dot follow, is there. Hey, we got a black line key. Feels good. But the hearts and all that—that's the stuff I'm going to explain to you guys how to do things as like as best as possible. All right. Um, I it seems like my music froze, so I'm going to quickly fix that for a second. So again, this is for the this is for the big prize. Big prize on the table here. This is the last map we're also doing for part two of the uh, World Comp Guide. So Dredge Haunt Cliffs. I believe this is the last snowy map. I'm, ho I'm hopefully I'm like I'm not completely wrong there. Um. So at the end of this map, we will do another slash age. So we'll see how far we've come. Um, along with the actual world complete as well. So how far we've done on the actual Central Terrier, um, regarding to how long we've been playing on this character since creation. Um, priority for this heart is the actual Corrupted Ice Containers. If you kill these Ice Containers, it actually contributes a little bit of the heart progress, but they also spawn sometimes one to two additional tiny adds inside the Ice Containers. So you get like pretty much a three for one kind of progression. It's a very, very much a priority thing to kill. Fortune doesn't look like there's much of the stuff up right now.
Um, there is one heart here, which is really, really... Um, it's a bit RNG, unfortunately, for one of the hearts here. Like, if you're lucky, you can get the heart done in literally less than 30 seconds. If you're unlucky, you will spend possibly five minutes doing the heart. Um, I will show you guys which heart it is when I get there. It's unfortunate. I, I, I hate the fact that it's a bit, it's like that RNG affected. Like, you can either do it in 30 seconds based on an event, or you can possibly do it in about five minutes if the event is enough. Um, I will show you guys what heart that is when I get there. It is on this map, and it's probably one of the, it's a slightly painful one if the heart, if the event is enough. Um. Well, that's quite a time difference. What do you mean, Swiss Guardian? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, regarding the heart. Yes, it is. Yes. Because it is a literal pain in the ass to do if the event is not up. I'm hoping that the event is up by the time I get there. Also, I seem to have missed part of that heart. Oh, that's fine, actually. I come back there anyway a bit later. So I'll just kill one other thing when I get there. Thirty verse five, yeah. Thirty second verse five minutes, yeah. Exactly. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, for so just to um, go over what I've said like um, throughout this stream and through yesterday, through yesterday's stream, if you're someone looking to do world complete as fast as possible, I recommend Augmented Terrier compared to what a lot of other people would say Taco, because a lot of people are just like Taco is just the mainstream thing people do. Ta Taco is just the mainstream thing that people use. Um, Taco, I will I will admit, is a lot more easier to follow if you're someone that isn't exactly like a super hardcore runner. Okay, we are lucky that this event is up. This is the heart that I'm going to um, I'm going to go over with you guys. This heart is a pain in the ass to do if this event isn't up. So it's a two-part event. Uh, do the first event here. Uh, do the first part of this event, which is basically interact with all these raw containment crystals and just hand them into the NPC. Um, Right after this event is done, the NPC will start channeling a portal um, in the middle here, and a bunch of mobs spawn in the middle. That You don't even need to see the character model of these mobs that spawn for you to get credit. Um, I will show you exactly what I mean uh, in a moment. So I need to do a hand in a little bit more here. Uh, what is Taco and Tyrion? Okay, so... Taco, which is spelled T-A-C-0, it's a tactical overlay, um, that is a Guild Wars 2 overlay that is used for pretty much a lot, so many different things. Like, it's to help people do jumping puzzles, it's to help people um, keep track of world boss timers, um, event timers, um, certain achievements. It's a very, very useful program for a lot of people in the Guild Wars 2 community. Super, super useful. Um, there's even a world complete, like, uh, like, a, like a world complete guide, like kind of what I'm using right now. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a it's, it's a huge thing. It's 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 a very very useful uh, thing to have. Or um, oh god damn it, the, because there's more people here, it's kind of scaling up the event. I hope he's finished it. He hasn't finished it. But there's, because there's more people here, it's scaling up the event. So it's taking forever to like even to hand this thing in now. But if you're by yourself here, there's literally like at 10, this thing finishes. I'm hoping that person has the last bit. 
Okay, he does. Okay, we need to wait a minute, though. Okay, so when this event is actually finished, she'll start channeling here, and there'll be pretty much like a ton of ads. A ton of ads that spawn here. You can just pretty much just spam staff five, and you'll just pretty much get a bunch of heart. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Is Soul Beast DPS a good raid? Ah, uh, so, to answer, uh, Hephistion, uh, Soul Beast DPS good for raids? Yes, Soul Beast DPS is good for raids. On some encounters, not every encounter. It is a it is a it is a fairly strong power DPS class for power encounters. It's not something I'd recommend to take if you play it on Matthias, Cairn, um anything that's basically heavy that that, that that favors Condi damage, I wouldn't recommend playing Power Soul Beast there. There there, there is a Condi Soul Beast build which you can play on some of those encounters, but yeah. What part of Orc tier is not completed and how and how it affects gameplay? Okay, so some of the parts that affect... Uh, let me just quickly do this half for you guys. So, see all these ads that start spawning? I'm going to just spam auto attack and staff fire on the spot. And you probably won't see half the model start spawning. And you will see this heart progress just pretty much fly to the finish line. Like, it's a super easy way to do this heart. And, like, starting from, like, that 30% 30, 30 we had, we pretty much finished it in, like, less than a couple of seconds. It is a wonderful event to have up if it is up. Unfortunately, because there were other people there, it took a while to actually get to that main event because of the scaling system that it has in the game. Um, some of the okay, so some of the parts in the game that are wait, hold on. How do you know which boss favors Condi damage? Okay, so bosses that attack relatively fast, which you can which you can find information on the Guild Wars 2 wiki. So things like Lagos, the twin Lagos encounter, things like Cairn, things like Matthias, um, these encounters attack relatively quick, which favors the which favors the condition confusion. This is where Condi Mirage particularly shines on some of these encounters. Um, basically, any fight that doesn't have an invuln frame in raids will favor Condi. Things that have a lot of consistent invulnerability frames. So invuln frame means invulnerability, invulnerability meaning you cannot do damage to. Boss encounters that have a lot of invulnerability frames favor power damage. Because remember that Condi takes time to ramp up. It is a bit of an exception to play Condi Firebrand. Condi Firebrand is sometimes really, really good on some power encounters because the condition burning racks up very, very fast in comparison to bleeding or poison or torments. So things like Soulless Horror, which doesn't have any invuln frames, heavily favors Condi damage, particularly Condi Mirage because Soulless Horror actually attacks relatively quick. Cairn the Indomitable is another boss that doesn't have any invuln frames. It's 100% to zero, no invulnerability. Also attacks fairly quick. Another boss that's favorable for Condi Mirage and Condi Renegade. Um, there is not enough ads right now, so we're going to be stuck here for a tiny bit. Yeah, bosses that move a lot also affect Condi DPS. So things like Solus Horror, things like Doom. Um... These are very, very good encounters where Condi Renegade can shine. Uh, Condi Weaver is another decent optional Condi DPS as well on some power encounters because, again, Condi Weaver delivers a fair amount of burning and burning ramps up very, very, very fast. Also, thank you for the follow, Lyrax45. Uh, so, that's my explanation for why difference between power and Condi. Basically, if the fight doesn't, if the, if the fight doesn't have an invuln frame, Condi shines there for the most part. Condi Firebrand? Well, Condi Firebrand naturally does well because it ramps up so much... It ramps up its Condi damage so fast that it can almost compete with power DPS classes. Like, Condi Firebrand does really, really good. Like, VG is something that has invuln phrases. It goes invuln at 66 and 33%. But Condi Firebrand, because the phasing to 100... To from 100% to 66 is relatively long. It gives it it gives plenty of time for something like a Condi Firebrand to actually shine, almost being one of the highest DPS compared to a power class like Power Dragon Hunter or Power Weaver or Power Staff Daredevil. Because it's 166, it gives plenty of time for something like Condi Firebrand or Condi Weaver to actually rack rack up nice damage. If you played something like Condi Renegade or Condi Mirage as a kind of DPS on Veil Guardian, it wouldn't perform as well because it takes a while. One Condi, uh, one Veil Guardian doesn't attack super quick. It attacks pretty slow, actually. 
So Confusion wouldn't be a super strong condition, so Condi Mirage therefore is weak. Um, and the boss doesn't necessarily move a lot either, which is why Condi Renegade doesn't perform super well on that either. Do you like Condi Chrono? I have never played Condi Chrono, so I can't, I can't, I don't have an opinion for that. I've played Boon Chrono before, I've played Power Chrono, but I have not played Condi Chrono. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> is Druid good for raids? Yes, Druid is good for raids. Druid is very, very good for raids. I like when Confusion ticks for 40k plus. Well, some encounters where Confusion ticks for 40k plus are things like Cairn and like Solus Horror. Alright, there's about 60 minutes left on the big giveaway. It's currently running at the moment. Alright, um, for this particular heart, you want to pretty much come inside this cave here and activate all the uh, corrupted ice shards that are kind of like just dangling around. They all will spawn, as far as I remember, each single one of these shards will spawn a mob, will spawn, will spawn an ad. So I'll prioritize coming inside this cave first before anywhere else. If the event is up, um, I recommend you should do it because a decent amount of ads actually spawn throughout the event. No food buffs? I mean, it's not necessary. It would help you like ever so marginally, but it's really not necessary. Like you melt through things pretty much with like an like one staff through a uh, one staff to pretty much kills an ad. Like that's how strong staff is on Daredevil. Like, Thief is by far the best thing to do World Complete on, mo be mostly because of the combat mobility that it has. Oh yeah, okay, so, one little thing, okay, so this is, this is gonna be a little tip, this is gonna be a little trick for this one, because some of you guys probably don't know. So, for those familiar with what with this vista, there's a vista, there's a huge jumping puzzle in this area, right? Now, um, I'm gonna actually, actually ask you guys in chat, how many of you guys put an X in chat if you know how to skip this? Put an, uh, put an X in chat if you know how to skip this. If you know how to skip the entire jumping puzzle. Shrager is familiar with it. Okay, that's good. I want to show you guys how to skip this entire jumping puzzle. It's a very, very easy thing. It's not too difficult. If you bunny hop at the right spot, you need to be right where the Commissar, the uh, the, Jedge, the Dredge Champion, right where the Commissar spawns, you can pretty much bunny jump and you can skip the entire jumping puzzle and jump straight to the Vista. 
You don't need to do any part of this massive jumping puzzle. We need to climb up all the way to the top here. So you can see Augmented Terror is telling me to take all this. Because, as I said, Augmented Terror isn't completely updated yet. So we're going to skip way, way ahead because we are not doing the jumping puzzle. And we're going to skip right through that. Skipping puzzles, people leave. <laughs> Oh yeah. One little trick that for some of you guys that may not know how to do that. You can use a sky scale and kind of just yeet yourself from the sky scale to get like enough velocity to get to the vista there. But because this place is like anti-mount, um, you can just bunny hop where I was. Very, very simple thing you can do there. Slanders are going to be on the hunt, boys. Just in case anyone who doesn't know Slander is, Slander is a, a big, massive thief player. <laughs> big stonks thief player. <laughs> he's, he's in party with me right now, just like, probably going to hunt some people in Morby World. He's actually on my team this, this time around. Surprisingly, he's actually on my team. <laughs> But yeah, one of these days I probably will, before I move back to um, NA, I definitely plan on doing some, um, I definitely will do some Warby World stuff. Are you using speed runes? No, I'm using scholar runes. There is no need for speed runes because you naturally generate swiftness with um, pretty much just dodging. You do, you cannot, you cannot move any faster than what you have swiftness. I already have like a minute, a minute and a half of swiftness just because I dodge. Speed runes was just unnecessary. Why no speed runes? Well, because you don't go any faster. You don't you don't go any faster. You naturally generate swiftness just by dodging. Speed runes doesn't like o help you overcap or anything. Yes, I'm 100% certain. 100% certain. 33% 33% movement speed is the fastest you can go. When in combat and you have and under the effects of super speed, which super speed is 50% movement speed, under the effects of super speed in combat, you move as fast as if you are out of combat. But if you're out of combat, you cannot run faster than the original 33% given to you. If you have super speed and you're out of combat, you will not move faster than the 33%. This 66%, okay, this 66% isn't, okay, that is to ignore the factor of chill. This 66% is to ignore the factor of chill. That's what that is. You don't actually move at 66% speed. You cannot run faster than 33%. Like even even in Warby World. So for those for those that do Warby World, and let's say uh, Desert BL, Desert, if you go to Desert BL and you attack one of the um, shrines, you usually get like a five minute buff. That's uh, and the, and the and the buff says you move forty percent faster. Now you're not actually moving forty percent faster. Like I don't know why those numbers are actually there, but you cannot move faster than thirty three percent out of combat. That's just not something it, it, that just doesn't exist. I'm not sure why they that rune says 66%. You cannot move faster than 33% when you're out of combat. Yeah, thank you very much for, for putting that, uh, Wolfric.
if freaking speed runes was actually a thing, like if you could actually move at 66% out of combat, I think I would have known about that. <laughs> I 100% think I would have known about that if that actually was a thing. this differently. Alright, we are almost done with, I think we're about 50-60%, we're at 74%, so we're almost done with this map. This will be the last map for part two of the speed guide as well. Um, I will close the giveaway when I finish this map as well. Actually, the giveaway will, the, the giveaway will either close itself or I'll just pick a winner by then. Let me see what time is. Okay, there's still seven minutes on the current giveaway. Uh, plenty of time for you guys. So anyone new to the stream, there is a 375 gold Chaos Axe skin given. that will be given away very, very soon. So make sure you're in for that if you would like a chance to win it. What is the giveaway? The, command? the giveaway command is exclamation mark rigged. Why no mount binds or mount wheel? Okay, so I actually have a friend of mine sent me a link for Guild Wars 2 Radial. I just haven't freaking like optimized it yet. I do have binds as well. Like I have like alt like alt one, alt two. I actually do have my mounts binded, but I have a terrible habit of just pulling up the freaking mount thing instead. Do it. Oh crap, my bags are full. much garbage so many random bags so much loot which one is my raptor on number four that's oh, my dog okay forget it Okay, this heart is slightly. Oh wait, is the event up? Oh, it's not. Okay, this is a this is a bit of a memory thing for this one, and I can't actually always remember it. Hag and Warblade. It's Azure Essence. Nope, it's not. Like this is a, this is a memory thing. Um, like there is no. I don't know if Taco helped you with this, but I don't have my, my augmented theory is not going to help me with this. Like everything I do is pretty much based on memory. Thing is, I can't remember every single part. No, the event just spawned. Ah, oh, shit, that's unlucky. Okay, if the event is up, you have to do it. You have to do the event. Otherwise, priority is just do the tombstones. Uh, scaling, scaling, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. That is exactly what I did to break my backpedaling habit. I used to backpedal a lot in competitive game modes. Um, and what I actually did was completely unbind my S key. I just completely unbinded the S key um, to break my backpedaling habit. There's still a crap ton of dredge remaining. Oh, yeah, there. But yeah, um, I will try to organize um, uh, Guild Wars 2 Radio uh, the, the next time I stream. Because, yeah, Guild Wars 2 Radio helps a lot. S key is also convenient as a bind, so you can bind a skill. Mount it, yeah. Like, normally, if I want to move backwards now, I just have a habit of just turning around. Like, just use a bout face or something.
<laughs> Bunch of awful such as here. <laughs> oh, man. What is Guild Wars 2 Radial? Yeah, Guild Wars 2 Radial. It's basically like a tool that's super useful for quickly pulling up your mount wheel. Like, if you're someone who doesn't have basically keybinds, it pulls up like a little wheel in the middle of your screen. It can pretty much like, the top part of the wheel will be like your Raptor. The top right part of the wheel will be like your, your, um, your Stingray. The bottom, the bottom part of the wheel might be like your Roller Beetle. It's a really, really nice tool to just quickly, quickly mount up. It's a very, very nice add-on. And I honestly should be getting it. Alright, we are almost finished. Almost finished. 83% boys. Radi I, I, okay, maybe it's just my accent. I'm 100% certain I'm saying Gilbert's too radial. Radial. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not emphasizing the L too much. Guild Wars 2 Radio. I'm not saying radio. <laughs> Guild Wars 2 Radio. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry boys and girls. Radio. Yes, radio. Not radio. <laughs> okay, um... One of the priorities for this heart is activating the dredge weapon caches here. There are multiple around the map, around this area, and it is a very, very good thing to be interacting with. Um, for the Vista up here, this is a very, very easy trick to do it. You can use your sky scale and actually just fly up to the uh, to the Vista up, to, up at the top instead of doing the jumping puzzle. Do not need to do the jumping puzzle here. There's no more weapon caches for me to pick on. Oh, right, no, hold on. There's one in the back here. Yeah, almost forgot about that. Fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up, and then mute yourself. Is it? Alright. Almost finished. I actually have to finish off this heart down here. I kind of forgot to like kill one more ad there apparently. This is pretty much part two of the Central Teria speedrun guide done. We have done pretty much all of the Shiver Peaks region in this period of the stream. Um, for part three, I will be running over Ascalon. For part four, I will do Kryta. Um, and then part four... Five, depending on my time, I will try to do the remaining maps, including ore. They will be part five, hopefully no longer than part five. Alright, and we are now finished. We are completely finished with Shiver Peaks in the region now. We've done all the snowy maps in this stream. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so just to... Uh, show you guys one thing real quick now in part six. Will you kill? Voldemort? No, we're not gonna call it Voldemort Thank you for asking though, Quiz. But yeah, okay, so I believe it's time to do the giveaway. Yes, we will do the giveaway shortly here um, So to give you guys some progress real quick um, 
I need to... Hold on, let me just quickly... Open up my combat. I need to open up a different chat here real quick. Maybe actually, I'll just hide party chat. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how long we've spent so far on this run. We have spent 6 hours and 30 minutes on this current speedrun guide and we have done 55% of the world complete. Over 50% done and we are at 6 hours and 29 minutes. That's a pretty decent time. 6 hours 30 minutes and we're just over 50% of the speedrun guide.